Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, and we all know what happens on Tuesday. We've got an exciting new update from the Medieval Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what sort of magical medieval construction components or objects will you be getting this week? Well, we're not getting that many, but we have got some rather interesting information been released about multiplayer. So first off, let's actually have a look at these new blocks. Now the first block that you'll notice is right here, and it's a stone platform round large. So these were built for the problematic situation of these much larger turret pieces that need a larger piece to clip on. So you can see we can actually just clip that on there, and it looks rather suave, it's very nice indeed. You can see how it fits the actual style of the castle, and if you wanted to build a much larger turret, like for instance one over here, you can easily just clip them on, and you could extend out, oh that looks a bit funky, that's probably because I put it in the wrong place. So you could easily extend out and add on these pieces to the turret of your castle. There we go. That's a little bit of a better spot. Now, if we go to number three, we've actually got a new piece that is here. Stone battlement round large. So these are used to actually clip on top of these so we can make a nice battlement for our knights, our bowmen, to fire down onto whoever is advancing on the castle. Oh, whatever indeed. So now we've got number four, that is wired to the standard roof, and another roof piece has been added so we can get even more crafty with our roof pieces. So you can see we've got a standard that we've had before. And then if we go a little bit further, you can see we've started to have these new roof pieces as well. So we've got these tighter ones that fit really well on these new sort of castle rounder turret pieces. So if we rotate that around, we can actually scroll wheel and we can actually pop them into place around our castle. You can see we're actually leaving with a nice center. You could do a really nice sort of domed looking building, maybe some sort of Russian sort of palace sort of theater thing with these sort of dome like structures and roofs. I don't know, I'll have to see how creative I get. So now that we've actually had a look at some of the new blocks that have been added to the game this week, I thought it'd be really interesting to talk a little bit about the multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer has been announced for some time in the future, and the hints in the video over last time seem that it's almost very close, and they kind of hinted at it that it might be in next week's update. So I'm going to hold my teeth together, cross my fingers, and hope that it'll be out next week for me to actually have an experiment around with, but I never know. So I thought it'd be a good time to actually ask you of what your expectations are of multiplayer actually are. Now, I have thought it'd probably be about three categories of different sorts of players. The first one would be the ones that are trying to get like a more of a role play sort of scenario out it, for instance. They want to build a um, nice sort of village, they want to have trading, realistic sort of combat, and all sorts of just different things that would add to a really beautiful role play scenario with woodsmen and different sorts of jobs and careers that they could turn this game into whatever they want to turn it into. Now, the next sort of category of players that I'd see are people that enjoy building the constructions, they enjoy building the lovely what, log cabins, guard towers, prison camps, or even the sort of more mechanical sort of tools, so drawbridges and sort of cranes and vehicles that work in sort of interesting mechanical sort of features. Now the final sort of category of players are the ones that are probably going to want to build machines of war and want some sort of castle sort of siege battle game modes. But it's really exciting to see exactly what they're going to do with the multiplayer themselves and how they'll let us craft our own scenarios and build up different missions. Obviously, very early stages at the moment. Now, the second thing I want to move on to is a few different questions and things that I want you to think about with crafting, building, hunting, food, different sorts of things that might pop up in the future. Now, the first one is crafting. Currently, if I quickly grab my axe and chop down a tree over here, this is a very simplistic sort of form of crafting, but I think it's very ingenious. It feels very manual and very real. So as I chop this into a second segment, a piece of wood, and then I craft it down into a smaller log block, and then I actually have to manually haul this block then back to my base or my camp. It seems very manual, very physical, and it's a sort of very deep way of crafting objects into the game. So obviously it's taking me a little bit of a while to actually try crafting that actual log down. Oh, there we go, give it a kick, maybe we need to move it over a little bit. But you can see that basic form of crafting as it pops into a different sort of log and then I have to move it and take it to the next level. But how far would you like that to see? Like, do I have to bring that to a workbench and carve out a certain component for the castle? Would I have to mine stone and then for some, some reason, like, chip the stone into certain sort of block shapes? I don't know, it'd be really interesting to see exactly how they do that. Now, the next thing was hunting and food. When they introduced the animals, 
that really got my sort of head spinning. Will he bring horses in, horse-drawn sort of items, mills and different things that you could use with that. And also, will the hunting be up to an aspect where you can actually shoot the animals, collect food and so on from that but it's just some interesting features to think about and i really want to know your opinions anyway now that i've hopefully give you some ideas to think about and the the anticipation for next week is growing i'll have to see you next time